You're watching Tim's Take Live, and I'm your host, Tim Black. A fatal police shooting was captured on an Oklahoma officer's body cam. It reveals the stark split-second decision he made. Muskogee police officer Chancey McMillan killed Terrence D. Walker on Saturday when the 21-year-old ran away after being confronted outside a wedding. Now, according to what I read earlier, the 21-year-old uh, Terrence Walker, he made a threat to his girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend, saying he had a bullet with her name on it and that he was going to meet her at this wedding. So the officer was called and told that the man was outside. Okay, um, and that's where we pick up here. So the officer is going to attempt to do a body search of Terrence Walker, and you'll see the rest. Thanks. Sir, do me a favor. Take your hands out your pockets for me. Take your hands out your pockets. Okay, let's go back to for weapons, okay? You got anything that's going to poke, stick yeah. up and hurt me? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Okay, just relax for me. Just relax. Relax. Why are you shaking for? Relax. Okay, that was hard to watch, right? Because it, it's sad. It was, it's sad. It, it. Someone lost their life. No matter how, no matter what. Let, let me say this, man. Let me let me start off by saying this. There is a longer version to this video. It's nine minutes. I didn't want to put it here. It's a nine minute long video. It shows the gun being retrieved from the ground in the bushes and the brush in the ditch on the side of the road where Terrence, um, where the young man was killed. So you can watch that. I've watched this video a couple times, okay? And I know it's gonna be people, man, you guys realize how much shit I gotta take. There are gonna be people, no matter how I put this, who are going to uh, write me hate mail and be assholes. I have to learn not to give a fuck. That's my only remedy because you can't please everybody, so fuck it. Terrence went there with the intent of hurting somebody, and then he got met by the police. He ran. He drops his gun. He turns around. He picks it up. If he would have just kept fucking running after the gun dropped, I don't think that cop would have shot him. I don't think I, he's. The cop says he shot him because he stopped, and he picked up the gun, and he was facing him with the gun, so he shot him. Now, if you're holding a gun at an officer, facing an officer, yeah, your ass gets shot. Now, I know people are not going to like that. Do you guys understand that? It's not me trying to be any old type of way, like, he's trying to be this so he can get these certain cop lovers on his side. No, bitch. That's not why I'm saying it. I'm saying it because that's what happened in the video. I'm saying it because that's what happened. That's what occurred. This is the video I'm dealing with, and I'm saying the truth. See, I'm not one of these motherfuckers that's going to tell you everything you want to hear just because you want to hear it. Sorry, I can't be that guy. And I'm sure it's a lot of people on YouTube who are going to tell you what you want to hear. All right? I don't like officers. <laughs> I just don't. You know what I'm saying? That's saying I never met an officer who wasn't cool. But some of the ones I did meet, they told me point blank, they like fucking people up. All right? I was in high school. I was a security guard at a mall. I knew some cops, and they used to talk about, we used to joke around and talk and shit, and he was like, man, I'm going to go crack some heads tonight, man. That's how he used to talk. So for these people to act like they don't know that there's police brutality 
bothers me. Oh, and those cops were black, not white. <laughs> they were black. Go fuck some niggas up. So I don't like cops because I know what they do to my fuckers. But this case, this instance right here, this shit, this one, this one, that young man, he went there to hurt that, hurt that woman. I don't know who she is. Now, here goes something else I don't know if you know yet. Right in the beginning of the video, you see Terrence with a young lady standing in the parking lot. He saw the cop coming. He asked her to hold the gun for him. She said she refused. You the hell, you'd have been a down ass bitch. You would have been, he would have been all right. Now, it's not your fault, baby. I'm joking. It's not your fault. It ain't. It ain't. It's not your fault that he brought that gun there. I don't know if you came there with him knowing he had a gun. You should have talked him out of coming there with that gun. Talked him out of getting out the car with that gun. But that's not your job. I just wish you would have. But it's not your fault. That motherfucker made his own decision. That, that young man made his own decision. <laughs> Fuck being you know, politically correct. This is a sad video. But it would have been sadder had he had shot up that church. You understand? Now, I don't know if his ex-girlfriend was getting married, or she was just in a wedding party, or she was a bridesmaid, or she was catering. I don't know what the fuck. All I know is she was supposed to be at that place, at that wedding, at that church, and you saw that pastor. Wasn't to tend to that young man. Wasn't nothing they could do. That, that young man got hit twice in the neck, a couple times in the chest. <clears throat> Unless you're going to read them last rites, wasn't nothing else to do. I know people say, Tim, you are so insensitive. No, I'm so fucking real. I'm real. Dumbass. I wish a young man wasn't in that situation. I wish I could have talked to him. I'd have told him, punk, just punk ass down. That gun away. No fuck is wrong with you. Give me that shit. Try to throw your life away. Not on my watch. But see, you had nobody like that in his life. You had somebody to browbeat him, probably. Tell him to read somebody's book. All right. All right, guys, it's a sad situation. Somebody sent this to me on Twitter, wanted to know my thoughts. Um, and I got my Twitter shout-outs, so I'm going to shout you out in a few. It's a, sad, it's a sad situation. I'm sure you had people that loved him, but he fucked up. He lost his life. My condolences to the family, regardless to him being in the wrong in this situation or not. That's still their baby. That's somebody's child. And they loved him. So fuck all y'all comments that I know are going to be negative. Somebody loved him. He made a bad choice. A very bad choice. I wish he wouldn't have done what he did. But from what I can see, it looks like a clean... It looks justified. So say goodnight to the bad guy. Come on.